hot light on a homeopathic medicine with the unique healing properties. So yes, I'm talking about Borex. So if you are curious about homeopathy or seeking natural alternatives for certain health concerns, then this video is definitely for you. So watch this video till end for more knowledge. So watch this video till end for more knowledge and stay connected with us for more informative videos like this. So join me as we unravel the characteristics, indications and potential benefits of borax in homeopathic medicine. So let's talk about borax. So homeopathic medicine borax benetta is prepared from sodium biborate. Sodium biborate is inactive in its crude form. But when it undergoes potentization, which means a process of preparing homeopathic medicines that arouses medicinal properties of a crude substance, so it gets converted into a highly beneficial homeopathic medicine that is Borax Benetta. It is a leading homeopathic medicine in homeopathy for managing mouth ulcers, fungal infection of the mouth, and certain women-related problems, mainly vaginal discharges and infertility. Now next we'll talk about the constitution of Borax. So it is mainly recommended to children who are suffering from mouth ulcers and diarrhea, especially during dentition period. Next, we'll talk about the drug action of borax. This medicine has a marked action on the mind, mouth, eyes, female genitals. Other than this, its action is also noted on the breast, gastric system, urinary organs, and skin. Next, we'll talk about the clinical indications. So borax can be used successfully for mouth ulcers, aphthous ulcer, oral thrush, eye disorders, Entropion, noise sensitivity, fears, lycoria, galacteria, galactoria, sore nipples, painful menses, sterility, diarrhea, plica polonica means an uncommon condition in which hair get matted together, cystitis and offensive urine. Now, in order to make it understandable to you people, now one by one, I will be explaining each and every indication in an elaborated manner so that you can understand them very well. So let's talk about scope of a borax as a homeopathic medicine. So its first action is on the mind. So it is basically used for fear, oversensitivity to noise. Let's talk about it. So borax act magnificently on the mind to manage multiple concerns. Its use is mostly recommended to manage certain fears. The first and the foremost among these is fear of downward motion, like, uh, like going downstairs and of falling. The person feel anxious while descending stairs and is afraid of falling. Borex can be useful for the babies who fear moving down on stairs, who cry and cling to the attendant when being laid in a, clot, in a cot or bed. Such babies are also fearful while rocking, swinging and dancing. Its use is also considered in a children who suddenly get up at night and begin, and begin screaming without any reason. Next fear where it, where it is indicated is fear of thunder. And other than this, person having fear of suffering from a contagious disease can be found in this medicine quite helpful. Apart from fears, it is also highly recommended in the person who are sensitive to, oversensitive to sudden noises. They get startled and frightened from slightest noise, for example, sneezing or hawking. Now, next use of borax is for the mouth problems like mouth ulcers, oral thrush, and bitter taste. So, this medicine has a marked action on the mouth. It proves to be highly effective for treating ulcers in the mouth, on inner surface of the cheeks and on the tongue. These ulcers have a tendency to bleed easily on touching and while eating. There is a heat in the mouth and excessive salivation. It is useful for the painful ulcers in the mouth of the babies that hinders normal breastfeeding. It is one of the best homeopathic medicine for treating oral thrush, means white fungal infection in the mouth which is caused by fungus Candida albicans. There is an intense redness in the mouth, covered with the ulcers, having cheesy appearance. And lastly, it is beneficial to manage bitter taste in the mouth while eating. Next use of borax is for the eye complaints like crust on the eyelashes, inward eyelashes, eyelashes and entropion. So borax act well on the eyes. Firstly, it is an important medicine for those with a dry, crusty, gummy matter on the eyelashes, along with its sticking during the morning hours. Secondly, it works well on inflammation of the eyelids. It is well indicated when the eyelashes turn inward and cause inflammation of the eyes, especially in the region of outer canthus. It is also helpful in the cases of itching in the eyes, including when there is a foreign body substance in the eyes. A characteristic feature for its use is at the time of burning in the eyes soon after putting spectacles. Lastly, it is indicated for entropion means inward turning of the eyelid margins. 
Next use of borax is for the female problems like vaginal discharges, infertility, and heavy menses. So it is a very suitable homeopathic medicine to deal with the certain female problems. So to begin with, it proves to be highly effective to manage vaginal discharges, which means lycoria. There is a discharge like egg whites with a feeling as if warm water is flowing. It may occur specifically two weeks in between the menstrual period. Along with this, swelling of the labia is present. And it is a wonderful homeopathic medicine for the treatment of infertility. This medicine is known to favor easy conception in females. And its use is recommended for the cases of early and the heavy menses. The bleeding is of pale red color. It is accompanied with pinching and the gripping pain in the abdomen extended to the lower back and nausea. And during period, there is a throbbing, pulsating pain in the head, buzzing in the ears, and tiredness is also felt. And lastly, it offers relief in itching of the bulba. Now, next use of borax is for the breast complaint like galactoria and pain. So, borax is also administered to manage some of the breast complaints as well. It is of great use in managing galactoria cases. Galactoria, galactoria means milky discharges from the nipples not associated with normal milk production for breastfeeding. In cases one needs borax, there is a milky nipple discharge that get curdled readily. readily. It is next utilized in cases of breast pain in the mothers while nursing the child. A unique feature is when pain occurs in the non-feeding breast at the time of breastfeeding of a child. After feeding, there is emptiness in the breast with a stitching pain. It can also be administered for managing ulcers on the nipples too. Now, next use of borax is for the gastric issues like diarrhea and flatulence. So, with its section on the gastric system, it can manage diarrhea well. The stool is green and has a mucus and there occurs colic. Before passing stool and is accompanied by an offensive smell. This is followed by weakness and during stool, there may be occurring burning sensation in the rectum. There is a pinching in the abdomen. And other than this, it is used when there is an excessive accumulation of the gas in the abdomen. There occur abdominal distension after eating with pain and loose stool, and there is an excessive passage of the gas. Now, next use of borax is for the urinary problems like frequent and the urgent urination and cystitis. So, if we talk about the urinary problems, this medicine is mainly used to prevent frequent urina urination at night. The urgency to urinate is felt and person is scarcely scarcely able to hold the urine. It is, also, it is also very effective for treating cystitis, means inflammation of the urinary bladder. The urine is warm and has offensive odor accompanied with smarting pain. Now the last use of borax is for the skin and hair related problems like eczema, psoriasis, chill blain, and rough rousy hairs. So lastly, it proves very beneficial for the various skin concerns and hair related problems. It offers great help in cases of eczema. It is particularly indicated for eczema on the fingers and the toes with nail damage. It is also indicated for eczema of the bulba. And it is helpful for psoriasis cases as well. Psoriasis is an autoimmune skin disorder characterized by the presence of inflammatory patches on the skin which are covered with silvery white scales. Apart from all these symptoms, it is also used it is also recommended in cases of ulcers on the feet which are caused by shoe getting rubbed against the skin of feet. So these are the various conditions where borax can be used successfully. Now next we'll talk about the doses. So as per the case presentation, it can be used from low to high potency. It can be repeated often in low potency, but in high potency, frequent repetition is usually not recommended. So it is, it should be avoided for today if you find this video helpful especially valuable and interesting so please give this so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell for more insights into the world of homeopathy and natural healing so thank you so much for joining me on this exploration of borax in homeopathic medicine so take care until next time see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay healthy and if you are suffering from any of the health issues, you can contact us for online appointments. On the screen, you can see how to contact us. So that's it for now and thanks for watching this video.